Hey, welcome to Earth Science tutorial on uh, using a compass to draw circles around stations for the triangulation of an earthquake epicenter. Uh, what this particular lesson is going to be about is just once we've you know determined a distance from a city, how to actually use the compass to draw just one circle given that information. So in this case, we're looking, we see that Denver here, we've already uh, assumed that we've determined that distance to be 1,800 kilometers. So what I got to do now is I got to use this scale here to uh, to draw that circle. Obviously, we're starting out at zero over here. We've got a thousand, and we've got two thousand, and three thousand are labeled. Eighteen hundred, right? So I got to figure out exactly what each little increment between the graduations that are labeled is. When I count it up here, I've got ten increments between one thousand and two thousand. So each little increment has to be worth one hundred, which means that eighteen hundred is going to be right there, right? So, the way that I've got to adjust this stuff now, uh, I'm going to keep an idea here as to where my 1800 is. And with the compass, I, uh, when I look at the way that this compass is built, I want to uh, bring in, inside of this red ring here, there's little crosshairs, and I want this little dot in the center, I want to put that right on the zero mark, and then I'm just going to press right down on it. Notice that the compass itself can rotate around that, uh, and you know, that's not going to be a problem because I've anchored this spot. I'm going to loosen up this knob here, which is going to allow me to slide this particular piece on the compass, right? Now, notice there are two holes on the compass. There's one here, which I call the inside, because it's closer to this rotating uh, knob here. And then we've got this one over here. Now, I always use the inside hole here to put my pencil in. It takes some of the guesswork out of it later. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the hole inside of there, right over the 1800, for, and I'm going to tighten the knob down. And when I'm done tightening it, I want to kind of pull away for a second and just double check that this stayed here anchored at zero, while now the hole that I'm going to choose is over the distance, you know, the, the distance that I wanted. And that's what I've got going on here. Notice again that this is for the city Denver. And so what I got to do now is take my compass. It's nice and adjusted to the proper distance from that city. Go to the map. Find the city in question, in this case, Denver. Right. And now I'm going to put my compass, the same dot that was on zero before, I'm going to put that over the dot here at the city of Denver. And I had chosen the inside loop, inside hole, sorry, uh, to adjust the compass to. So I'm going to put the pencil inside that hole, and now I'm just going to make a nice loop going around the city of Denver. And there we go. And so when it's all done, there it is. I've got now a circle drawn around the city of Denver that, according to our scale, is adjusted at a 1,800-kilometer radius from the center. So there it is. And uh, if you need any help analyzing the P of the S waves to get the appropriate information to determine distances, you'll be able to find that in a separate video tutorial. So that's how to use the compass.